Previously on Building Benny's Movie Park. Add some of these electricity pipes, sort of. Dude, that looks so good. Of course, you already expected. I'm going to put some barrels here, a lot of them. Just adding a bunch of details. I don't want to go too crazy with this. Here we go. I hope this looks nice. Oh, yes, dude. I love that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this brand new episode of Building Benny's Movie Park 2. Today, we are going to build some very cool stuff, all right? As I mentioned in the previous episode, I want to build some buildings, some nice Western-style buildings. But first, for that, I actually need to build some other stuff. One of those things being this bridge right here. Since I want to put some buildings around this little area here, I first need to know what area the bridge is going to cover in order to, you know, make that all fit. So let's just get straight into it, shall we? Let's begin with a very simple base plate like this. So we kind of have a, well, a base. Now let me instantly add some of these very nice edges. And then between those, we can make some cool patterns, maybe. The bridge itself is going to be wood, but the top part will be metal for uh, extra strength or something. I guess. Here, I think we should begin with something simple like this. And then in between these little crosses again, because that always just looks very nice and Western-ish, I think. I think it's a good idea if we just add a bunch of these layers to make it very nice and detailed. And something you could totally not see coming, a bunch of these bolts as well. I simply cannot get over how amazing this makes stuff look. It's fantastic. Yes, and this right here is where the actual wooden... Uh, supports begin. Okay, and now we have to sort of make this support structure work. I think something like this is a pretty good start. We can make a nice arch effect right about here, I would say. And then this way we simply have to connect it, I guess, to the actual track. And you know what? Even on these bits, I'm gonna put these crosses because why the hell not? These poles down here, I feel like should be a bit thicker or have like this support kind of thing. So let's do that as well. That already looks a lot better. And then now we just have to make sure that the crosses are in here as well. And then we're pretty much done with the bridge. Very satisfying. This is, there you go. C A. That looks pretty nice. The only thing left, however, that I should add is a bunch of these bolts. This is going to be completely random, not really, you know, structured. Because this is supposed to be a very old bridge and so nothing is perfect. Then finally, let's also add some variation in color. Some of these wooden items are just a bit darker than others to make it look a bit older. And well, then now I think finally this bridge is actually done. I am, uh, I'm quite thirsty. Very nice. <laughs> this right here seems like a nice spot to put our first uh, house, building, whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and do that. I looked up a bunch of photos and inspiration for the buildings in the Wild West, just so I can get the right uh, style and vibe. Let's begin with a very, and I mean very basic, uh, beginning structure for this uh, building. What? Bro, sometimes I just have to stop talking and just build because this is sad. On the sides here, I will make these nice corners because that seems super epic. Then let me close this up very nicely like that. Ooh, that fits perfectly. And then up here, I guess we can make a very nice uh, thing. I th I'm really just doing random stuff at this point. Just, uh, just have some, have some hope, have some trust. Now let's work with some bowls and make this look uh, very nice and authentic. Getting that true Western vibe rolling. Let's make all of these wooden and some horizontal bars like this so people can walk up there. See, this is already getting some shape. <laughs> I haven't decided yet what color this building is going to be though. And let's make a very nice arch right up here. Time to do something insane again. Let me just check if this works because Western buildings often have this kind of pattern. And you know what? This seems to be fine actually. There you go. Like that. If we give this a nice texture, that could actually look pretty sick. And maybe this white instead, I guess. Yeah, that can work. Then my idea was to make this red, the top part, and then the bottom like maybe just gray, grayish wood or blue. A bit like this, maybe. That's uh, a bit more subtle than the uh, booming blue we had before. Even these little bits on the side need that same pattern, of course. Then for some windows, I'm going to use these as bases, I think. And then using some wood like this, I'm making the nice frames around it. That way it's relatively easy, but still we can make some nice looking windows. There you go, just like 
that. And not to forget, we need a nice entrance with this building. So let's just make a simple wooden structure like that. Perfect. And then later we can make some doors in there first. I want to add some more windows because as you can tell, windows do so much for a building. It instantly just looks 20 times better. And I say that like it's weird, but of course, I mean, they're, they're freaking windows. Just copy and paste. Very much fun. And then the interior, let's just kind of clean that up using some, uh, some walls inside here. Shouldn't be too difficult. There you go. Just simple. It's not really spacious inside, but I guess that's not really uh, important, I guess, because it's more about the outside anyway. Now for this, I actually want to make a sign. So let's hop into Photoshop and make one. So this is more or less the space we have to work with. And I have just the font for this. This one. There you go. Now let's type, let's go for the obvious saloon here. There you go, simple as that. You can give it a nice little arch like so, make it a bit smaller. Food, drinks, and more. There you go. Let's kind of put that under it like so. And that should already be pretty nice. And we may as well just slap the movie park logo on it as well, because why not? Just on top there, beautiful. Okay, now let's hide the stuff we don't need like that and export this as a decal. Back in Roblox, let's click this, go to change. There you go, saloon, then enable transparency and oh my god, that looks amazing. That looks freaking perfect. Not gonna lie, that came out way better than I thought. <laughs> okay, well, um, then the sides here, of course, that's gonna be covered with rocks. So that's why that looks still a bit weird right now. I think the interior of all these buildings are gonna be a separate video. So uh, for now, this building seems to be pretty much done on the outside. Let's move on to the next one. Right here seems the perfect place for a uh, food stall, just somewhere you can get some snacks. So let's go ahead and put some, uh, some walls up, just like this. And this right here is where people can order their snacks. It's not gonna be an actual shop, just like a sort of bar type uh, thing. And let's add some supports to hold up the roof uh, thing I made. I wanna make some different types of roofs, so I'm just going for this style right now. It seems uh, nice, just all the way to the end, like that. And on top of that whole thing, there's gonna be one of these boards that says what you can get here. I don't know yet what that is, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. I also think a roof on top of this could be nice as well, as if there's like a second building behind it. And this roof, I'm finishing the way I used to do it before, just with a bunch of these, uh, you know, thingies. Looks gorgeous. And I'm also going to make a very simple chimney up here, just to make that roof a little more detailed as well. And then here I will put an image panel again, so we can put some text in there. I think it would be super fun if this is a hat store, so let's grab this hat. And and we'll call this get a hat and we have to make sure it's centered like this that's pretty nice already or maybe like this instead the other way around maybe that's a bit nicer and of course we can also add some fun effects like this and then the whole thing is just looking Fantastic. And a little bit of a sun on there as well. Oh, I love this. Well, let's see what this looks like in the game. Let's see. Change image. Get a hat. <laughs> okay, looking pretty good. Then let's enable transparency. And there you go. That's not too bad. I like that. I do think, however, the yellow should be a bit more orangey. So let's actually change that. That's definitely a bit nicer. Yes. Since it's in the shadow, though, let's add some of these lights to make it a bit more vibrant. There you go. And this we can also make it a little bit orangish like this. Ooh. And then two more right next to it. There you go. That has a pretty nice effect. Yeah, I like that. Just like the other building, like I said, the interior I will do in another episode. So then for now, I guess the basic idea of this house is also done. I just can't get over how great this looks. It fits perfectly. Then now I think it's a good idea to work on this little bridge over, uh, you know, the track of the River Rapids, because then we can sort of make the entrance of the, the western area look nice. So uh, let's get into that. First of all, I think it's a good idea if we start adding some rocks on the sides. That way we can kind of have it fading out between these rocks here in the tunnel and this pavement. And then at the base of this, I'll already add some of these uh, higher rocks to make sure that looks a bit nicer just for now. Here you go. Just something like this. Shouldn't be too detailed, but this is fine. Same thing on this side, of course. Literally the exact same thing. Now let's do what I came here to do, a bridge. I'm gonna try doing this using some wooden bars. It's gonna be a very simple design but I do need something here of course just like this going all the way to the ground I'm super dumb of course this has to be a bit higher because those boats have to go underneath um, so I am doing it like this now definitely seems a bit uh, better and then this just has to go down all the way to the ground let's paint this wooden there you go then some wooden bars to keep that whole thing together just like that and a very simple fence kind of 
thing. See, that fits nicely underneath. All good. Looking at it like this, I feel like the fences here would be nicer in this uh, lighter wood color. Just to add some more variety. There you go. Is that nice? Yes, that certainly is nice. Some simple supports underneath, and then I think we should be nearly there. Okay, maybe the last thing, one of these. Just to give it, again, that little bit of Western vibe. There you go. Well, and then we have a bridge so people can actually, uh, you know, reach this whole area. Then I guess for today, guys, that should be pretty much it. We made some nice houses, so we have kind of an idea of how to move forward from here. Um, if you like this video, make very sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss a single future upload. And then I hope I'll see you in the next episode of Building Benny's Movie Park.